really, uh, really fast and accurate. Okay, let's keep going. So that's one way to develop your technique. Now, the, the other thing I want to talk about is tuning. Even though when you go perform these etudes, and this applies to your all-state music as well, you're not playing with a piano or anything like that. You're not playing with a rhythm section. So I play these so you guys can hear the harmonies under it, but when you go play in front of the judges, you're not going to have a rhythm section behind you. Still, we can hear your intonation, and we have to play with good intonation. Who uses this, these exercises in the back of the book in your band program? Two of you. That's what I thought. This is one of the most valuable parts of the whole book, and it almost never gets used. Let me show you how to use it. There's two, we want to use a drone, and there's two things, two ways you can do that. If you go on iTunes, you can buy a, an album called The Tuning CD, and it's a CD full of drones, and it's very good. Who has the Tonal Energy app? Okay, there you go, that's all you need. So you pull up your Tonal Energy app, and you go to Tone Generator, and you just put it on roots and fits. Cool, so hmm, we're just going to be able to do this with flat instrument so it's going to get a little funky. So I'll put this on G.
One thing I notice a lot with students in the Texas band program when they're preparing their all-state music is their use of vibrato, okay? And vibrato is an important, very important aspect of the saxophone. It's one of the most expressive um, musical devices we have when we're performing. It's totally different than jazz, okay? When we're playing classically, usually we start our vibrato right at the beginning of the note, and it's usually a faster vibrato, yes? Something like that. With jazz, we use something called a terminal vibrato. We use, and to be honest, when I have students first starting to learn jazz, I say, no vibrato. Completely straight tone. Turn it off. Because it's too hard. So it's easier to go from playing with your classical vibrato, just shut it off when we play jazz, and in about a year, go ahead and start introducing jazz vibrato. And jazz vibrato, what you're going to do is, is you're going to start with a straight tone, and then with a slow, wide vibrato, you'll end the note. <laughs> Any questions?